I'm a professor in the School of Public Health in the Division of Health Policy and Management and the founding director of the Center for Anti-Racism Research for Health Equity at the University of Minnesota. I conduct research really based in health equities. It's centered in reproductive justice. What the data tell us is that black women are three to four times more likely to experience maternal mortality. We also see that infant mortality for black infants is at an all-time high in most states. So the work that I do is really to uncover sort of the root cause. So why is that happening and what are we going to do to change it? Community-based participatory research has to lead the way. So for me, that looks like partnering with places like Roots Community Birth Center. The owner and founder of Roots came to me and a colleague of mine, Dr. Kazimano, and said, I'm seeing these awesome outcomes. We're not seeing preterm births. We're not seeing low birth weight. And so my question immediately was, what are you doing differently? I was able to bring in my research expertise to develop a project allowing us to kind of dig into the model of care at Roots and its impact on birthing people. Human connection is incredibly important. We learned a lot about the way that Roots approaches every single birthing person and their family, asking questions that allow for people to feel comfortable in the space. And part of Roots' model of care is really thinking about how do we talk about consent? How do we ask someone the right questions that honor their expertise in their own body, right? Because you're gonna know what you need best. As a public health researcher who's conducting research that's with the goal of health equity, we have to start from the premise that racism is a fundamental cause of health inequities. Part of being an anti-racist scholar is making sure that the work that we're doing doesn't just sit on a shelf, right? It doesn't just live in an academic journal, but that we are producing knowledge that's going to affect change in our communities. Here in Minnesota, we were really intentional about making sure that policymakers understood the role that doulas can play in improving birth outcomes for birthing people of color, um, which resulted in the state actually um, deciding to reimburse uh, doulas um, who were providing care to birthing people on Medicaid. The people who are at greatest risk or are suffering the most from these inequities have to be a part of the solutions. And I would argue not just a part of the solutions, but really leading the solutions. Mm -hmm.